Wow. The underlying energy is the nine of wands. So the nine of wands talks about feeling exhausted, putting up a wall, but this is also feeling like ready to give up, throwing the towel. Now you've been waiting a long time and I feel like you've been pushing and pushing. And this is a point, kind of a point where you can see the ending. You could see the end, but it's really hard because it's, you know, you've come so far, but then you've been through so much at the same time, right? It's one of those things where it's like kind of hard to keep pushing forward when you know you've been pushing for so long. And especially when you, you know, you've just kind of gotten, if you have been waiting on something and you're still waiting on it, then it's like, oh my God, how long do I have to wait for? Now, if this is not the case, right? Then this is just talking about you gaining, you know, you know, you, this is talking about how long you've been working on something and really if it's truly worth you know the effort that you're going that you're doing that you're pushing you know that you're pushing this for you know what i mean basically what i'm trying to say is that y'all exhausted and really tired but i don't think you're ready to quite give up yet now the situation is this the heart that you're reading is the chariot which talks about victory things moving fast progress the challenge is getting things moving because what's crossing that is the eight of cups the reason why things aren't moving right now is because some there's some someone's emotionally drained. Someone's emotionally drained with the situation. They can't give anymore. Like they, there's nothing they can give more to the situation. This eight of cups is usually dissatisfaction, being emotionally done. You know, you know, there's nothing you can give to the situation. There's nothing more you can have because there's nothing here that really gives you anything to work with. Because honestly, you know, it's like you're not really satisfied. Nobody's satisfied with the cups that are being presented here. You have a ton of options, but they do not resonate with how you feel. So you just can't go with any of the options. But that doesn't mean that there is any option out there at all. Usually the Eight of Cups indicates that you go out there and find what it is that you want. But right now, this is emotionally drained. And this is kind of comboing this Nine of Wands, which indicates that you're exhausted anyway. So, so as much as you want things to move, you're tired. You're exhausted. There's not much you can give any further to the relationship. You've already tried to. And I feel like it's probably exhausting a lot of the other options, but you may have to find a different avenue, one where you're having to trust your intuition, okay? Now, in the past, you have the star. Now, the star is talking about hope, belief. This is talking about faith and healing. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you did have some sort of glimmer of hope in your past. Like you guys felt this. And this is in your foundation. Even though it's in the past, this is still a foundation. You're, you built something off of faith. You've built something that you, you know, that you at one point believed could be yours. And right now you're going through a transition where it kind of could feel like you're not sure about what it is that you want. So things will change, right? Some things, some aspects about your dream will change. But ultimately, I feel like you guys will still kind of, you still have a bit of hope, which is why you have the wands here, right? You're not necessarily, you're exhausted, but you haven't necessarily given up because you do have strong beliefs. You guys are fixed signs. You guys know, you guess oh, when you believe in something, it's very hard for you to not believe believe in it but the situation is that you're exhausted it's like it's so hard to deal do it and I don't know if the other person's making this exhausting for you but the situation is this like you have the star in your in your foundation there was hope it was some healing there and it was most importantly there was a star that you felt that you could definitely reach death is in your present though and death is definitely draining your energy at this moment you're going through scorpio energy you are scorpio energy yourself you're going you're in scorpio season but the situation is talking about releasing something letting something go and i feel like the eight of cups is like releasing something that is not something that you desired in the first place it's like whatever you're emotionally done with it has this it's a it, there's a purpose for you feeling that way obviously to let it go obviously to release that right because you move on to the tower something changes about this right and i feel like this is the thing the death and the eight of cups would go hand in hand but i kind of get this sense that there's a tug of war like as although you're not necessarily satisfied with it and you're emotionally done with the situation regarding death it's almost like it's kind of you're still trying to you have like a tug and uh tug and pull kind of situation with it where like you don't really want to let it go completely but you don't really, you can't really, you can't give it any more because obviously I think it has to do with that three swords that we saw earlier when I was shuffling, right? Like it may have to do, may have to do with some old issues and this is a process of healing in itself, right? Because obviously death is, is, is going, is a transition, it's change and you're going through this and death is usually very slow. So 
whatever you're releasing right now has to do with probably old issues and old pains attached to some dreams to attach, attached to the dream that you may have had i think the dream will remain i just think that there's some things about it that may need to kind of be let go with it you know what i mean right there's some aspects to this dream that's going to need to be released in order for you to have it because here you have the tower, some radical change comes in. I'm going to go ahead and actually pull you guys an extra card for that one because I don't know what that is, what this tower is, you know, other than it being something shocking coming into your life, changing everything as if everything wasn't changing already. And the fact that you have judgment as your external energy comboing de the death card, which is dual scorpionic energy, which is you guys, right? I mean, that's your energy it's still really intense for you guys. It's still like super, super intense. And this is tough, something coming back from the past, something that you thought was dead. This is a revitalization. So something that you were emotionally done with is going through some sort of purification process. Like it's getting cleansed out. So you can truly have an opportunity to do something with the, you know, whatever you've been trying to manifest. But why is the tower in their future? What is this tower in their future? The Nine of Cups. Ah, uh, so you get surprised with perhaps something that you've been wanting, but it comes from the struggle of re of of death, of releasing. There's some sort of some sort of it's, there's some sort of attachment to this dream that may be blocking you from actually having it, and it could be that you feel emotionally done, or you're not necessarily sure if this is something you want. Let me go ahead and clarify the Eight of Cups for you as well. Why is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups coming up? Why? What is eight of cups for the Scorpios? For the for um, there's reading here. The five of Wands, the conflict. All right. What is this conflict? Conflict is the ooh a second chance, second time around. Why? One more. The Emperor. Hmm. That's interesting because the Emperor talks about taking control, having their you know your way, the highway. You know, it's, this is someone that's a little stubborn and I feel like this is perhaps you're emotionally done with maybe relinquishing control because at one period of time you did have to wait on something or you did have to wait on someone or maybe somebody else was waiting on you. But this is like, you know, you know, obviously you're emotionally done with some sort of conflicts and some sort of back and forth some sort of, you know, disagreements here and there based off of a second chance with somebody you feel as your divine your divine partner, divine masculine partner, or perhaps this is something regarding taking control of the situation. You don't know if maybe, you don't know if you can wait or you can, you can continue to be passive about this. I feel like you don't even know if you have enough in you to go ahead and take more action. You're kind of the one that was doing all the action in the first place, which is perhaps why you're feeling very defensive anyway, right? Why this, why, why this whole reading is about defense anyway, just kind of blocking stuff off, but continuing it out. It's almost like you're just not sure if you really want to actually do any further, push any further. Because here you have the Ten of Wands, which talks about, you know, a burden, right? This is the, uh, the ending of a cycle, right? This is what you've been waiting for, the, you know, from 9 to 10, completing a cycle here. But at this point, you want to, you know, this is about, you know, the burden that you've been carrying. And if it's, you know, can, worth continuing to carry it, right? Only you can decide whether to drop this burden or not. And what your outcome is showing is that you end up working harder and, and better and more focused because you recognize what it is that you're carrying that, you know, something that you've been building from the, the ground up, something that you've been working very hard toward anyway. And I feel like <clears throat> you've been working very diligently with this. And now it's almost like you're not sure, you know, it's almost like that weird kind of, you know, transition to actually getting to what you want. It's almost like, you know, you're close to having this, but it's just like, is it true? Is it real? Is it what I want? Is it truly what I want? And the tower comes in to change everything because this is something that you've manifested. The star and the nine of cups are in this reading. This is some big stuff. But I feel like whatever this burden is, it's having, it's, it, I feel like it's talking about releasing it because, you know, with ten of wands, you know, there's only so much you can do. This is, you know, you gotta have to divvy this up somehow, right? Because the emperor would do everything by himself, but should you do it by yourself? Perhaps you should get some help. Perhaps you, perhaps you should allow people to help you and let you let people in instead of blocking people off and trying to do everything on your own. If this is what you're doing, Scorpios, and if you're not doing that right, then this is talking about what burden you have going on that needs to be, 
you know, that it needs to be relinquished for your sake right now, because this is about your dreams. This is about what it is that you're trying to manifest. And you're a diligent, hard worker. Everybody knows that about Scorpios, any fixed sign, really. You want something, it's not, you know, it's not gonna, you're not gonna fight, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna not fight for it. You're gonna continue to fight for it. But I get this feeling for some of you guys out here, this 10 of wands, it's just, it's a burden for you, but it's something that you want are willing to carry. But I think there's aspects about this burden that you don't want at all with it. Like whatever you're trying to manifest with this, if, whether this is a relationship or career or whatever, right? You're, you're, there's something about it that's not appealing to you. And I don't know if it's the conflict. I don't know if it's the person that you're dealing with. I don't know if it's even the second chance with another with a, with a particular individual. Now you have two cards that are talk that are comeback cards, but I get this feeling that you guys are just tired of constantly doing things or putting yourself out there, or you guys are tired of of the constant you know the constant back and forth, like who would do what, the power play. But I feel like it may be just that you know. There's something about it personally, which which we we go back with the three of swords. That's causing this sort of feeling of d exhaustion, right? It's almost maybe this is a tug of war within yourself because it doesn't have any other person in here other than the emperor. The emperor could still be you. You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be anybody else. It could be an Aries. We have an Aquarius here. We have dual Scorpio energy. But, and we even have cancer here, but that's the thing, like, it doesn't really scream out anyone else. And this looks like this is a really big change and a transition in your life right now regarding everyone else around you, rather than other people affecting this. And I'm not saying this is your fault, this is you're causing yourself a lot of grief, a lot of problems, but this is something that's internal to you. Well, this is something external even as well, because this is, a, we got major arcanas coming up the wazoo. One, two, three, four five okay and a six seven so you have you have seven seven major arcana cards coming out of this but the outcome is showing the eight of pentacles which talks about working hard and do, focusing on really diligently on what you're trying to build you know that's the apprentice card here the eight of eight of pentacles really working diligently but whatever is distracting you from making progress right now this that's being cleansed this is being worked on you're 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 aware of whatever it is it's just about, you know, taking action on it, it looks like, more than anything. Let's go ahead and take a look at your romance angels to see what you guys have for this for the next couple of weeks. All right, this could be the one. Wow. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. Maybe it's that the whole thing is about trusting it and believing that it's yours. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm saying, like, I feel like it's more of a tug of war rather than, <clears throat> rather than I've, you know, like, yeah, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I got lost in translation there. Jeez. But no, I was saying before, I was like, it feels like a tug of war. Like, you don't necessarily know this is truly it kind of thing, you know? Like, you're on the fence, like, if you could truly go in. But that's the thing. Whatever you feel like you can't like, do, you can. And I think that's why death is showing up. Embrace the dark. Wow. This is your card, guys. I'm going to go ahead and read you the affirmation for this. Because usually, I mean, the messages you know, are just so powerful. I felt. So I like reading them, but... I'll give you my own interpretation before we read it. It's obviously talking about embracing the part of us that nobody wants to see, or even not even us, not the part that we don't want to see, the part that we hide and keep from ourselves. And I feel like that's the thing that's exhausting you. You've been kind of holding back, keeping things from your, keeping things from your significant other, because you weren't necessarily sure you can truly take that leap and trust that person. Perhaps like, there's something about the person that you're with that, that you know you can feel comfortable with, but you don't necessarily feel comfortable with yet because you haven't exposed who you are you haven't revealed the true essence of your Scorpio energy and some people may be scared about that some people find that intimidating but I don't think that this person will do feel any of that I feel like this person will perhaps even embrace that with you but the point of it all is is that there's something personal within you like I was saying in the very beginning that you have to embrace perhaps even to drop the burden of putting that putting up this wall because you know your darkness is part of you I have a darkness. Everyone has a darkness. But it's about embracing that and recognizing that and saying, you know what, this is me and this is, if you can't handle it, you can't handle it. That's just who I am, Scorpio. You guys are 
you know, you guys are dark in one way, in a way, but that darkness always shows us towards the light. You know, we go through Scorpio energy to see our truest selves. Scorpio, Scorpio season allows everybody in the zodiac, even the ones that are the lightest, like you say Sagittarius or Aries or even um, or even a Taurus, right? They true have to see their truest selves, and their truest selves come out during Scorpio season. And we are blessed to have a Scorpio season because of that, because we otherwise we would never be acceptant of ourselves of who we truly are. And I feel like this season is really showing you who you are within relationships, who you are with yourself. And what Embrace the Dark is saying is it's, it's time to, to accept all of you, every aspect of you, even the parts that you feel that are maybe you may be deemed inappropriate for other people to see or maybe what other people may not accept. But here's the, here's the message, right? You've been taught that all is either good or evil, negative or positive. Good gives rise to good and bad gives rise to bad. It is, it is wrong to have feelings of anger, dislike, or fear as these emotions are born of our shadow selves. This is not truth. Everything happens for a reason. Love can, ri can rise to destruction and hate can inspire acts of, in of genuine love. The lessons offered by our shadow often, often teach us the most. Know your shadow self. Love it. Without the darkness, the stars cannot be seen. Yeah, man. It's going. It's, it sounds like a hard couple weeks, especially considering Venus is going retrograde. Is is still retrograde during this time that I'm reading for? But you guys can handle this. You can. Nothing is ever given to you that you cannot handle. And when it comes to accepting your darkness and looking at how you are and who you are, you know, it can't be exhausting to put up a mask. But I feel like this is not about putting up a mask. It's about and you haven't been putting up a mask. It's more of like releasing and being you at all in all facets in all areas you know and that can be kind of scary to even show people but that's the thing that you may have to release that part of you that you've been hiding for so long 